several adjustments on this tool also. And then just closing up. This is going to allow us to cut the exact diameter. And what you do is just set that in there. I'm going to extend it out a little bit. I'll show you why in a minute. And it will just fit in like this. We'll bring the flag in exactly the same way. Get my hands out of the way here. But you know what I'm doing. So, And we'll just line it up once again the same way that we did. All right. Now we have to press forward this way. You want to make sure you're tight, get some pressure, press it forward, we're firing, and tighten the flag down and get rid of that piece now. Now here's the problem. When we run it, it wants to spin right now, but I can stop it very easily and spin it. Uh, you, you might want to get a little more pressure than that on there just by pulling this out, loosening the spindle and pulling out a little bit. That's a little bit tighter, but that still is not tight enough to be able to, to uh, drill. The drill is going to stop that as soon as I touch it. Now there are a few different ways to transfer the power from from the center to the gear. One way that a lot of guys use, and I do too at times, <laughs> is regular old masking tape. Okay, it's so easy to do this way. All you have to do is, is put a piece of masking tape on here and you can you can just uh, start to spin a little bit if you want and then just bring it up onto the, the arbor. Now, usually it works real well, like if we were holding on this side over here where the lantern pinion is, you can just wrap around the lantern pinion. But by doing this and, and just kind of coming up against the gear, you have a good, a good solid uh, hold there. But at the same time, if you do it right, you still have some cl clutching action here. Okay, that works all right. The problem is you can't really regulate it. They can loosen up on you while you're, while you're doing the work. Uh, you know, or tighten up on you if you happen to grab it and turn it too tight. It, it's just not a real good way to regulate it. But I do it this way a lot of times too. It's just real quick. You know, a lot of these setups, you just want to set them up, get the job out of the way, and, and pull them down, and that's it, and you're done with it. And, and really, it just takes a few minutes to do a pivoting job. But we have another way to do this. And it's very easy to set up the tooling to do it. You don't have to go out and spend all kinds of money and time looking around. All that you need is to, let me get this piece of masking tape off of here, is to make up a couple of what they call dogs. And what I've made these out of, I mean, I have a lot of different dogs. I have them out of wood. I have them out of, out of uh, brass and steel and everything. But I just want to show you how little you really need to do the type of work you need to do with, especially with larger gears like this. When you get into watches, uh, we'll be doing uh, uh, later on in, in, in another video uh, watches and, and uh, small carriage clock gears that you're going to want to have a, a little more precision when it comes to all, all of the tooling that we see here. For clocks this is, this is great. Okay? You don't need to be all that accurate. You can get more accurate and you can spend more time developing your tooling uh, but you just don't want to spend all kinds of time and money on it right at the beginning because it, it will really discourage you right away. So anyway, I've made up some dogs out of regular old plugs that we had from the tool, the little magic center finder that, that we made. All this is is the handle same uh, from the same bag of plugs. And what we have here is what's called a dog. Uh, I've made a few different types here out of the, out of the things. And they just took a, a few minutes, did them very quickly. And I, I, I didn't show you how to do them. I mean, they're self-explanatory. I'll show you in a second what, how they're put together. But very, very simple. So I'm going to pull this down and we'll put some on there and you can see exactly what's happening.